Well, we've been out here, uh, Michael and I have been rolling some daily devotionals, and my wife's been inside the house uh, writing our monthly letter on praise and worship, and it's that time of the year when we take some time off, do some fasting and some praying, and of course just praise our way through some stuff just like everybody else has to do. Amen. So she's come out to share with us. This is my wife, y'all, Miss Christy. <laughs> I know that all of us are believing for some promises of God to be fulfilled in our lives. And as we're waiting, I think that's the hardest part, don't you? When you're, when you're waiting for the promise to be fulfilled, you've sown the seed of faith and you're believing God for His promise. Now let me say this, the most important thing when we're believing God for a big dream, a big vision, first and foremost, it must always be founded on His Word. Yes. Because His Word is His will. And that is His guaranteed promise to us. It's already yes. a done deal, His That's Word right. is. Yes, it is. So once we find those promises in His Word, as directed by the Holy Spirit in our prayer times, as we're spending time with Him, He will lead you to the those promises that apply to your purpose and His plan for your life. That's right. Then we begin sowing it with our faith, yeah. decreeing with our mouth the Word of God over our situation, over our future, over our family, our health, our finances. During that waiting period, while we're waiting for the promise to be fulfilled, you know, I know you've heard Mylon discuss this, their seed, time, and then harvest. So that time, that that middle section where we're waiting, it seems to be the most challenging. Well, yeah, I mean, it could be five minutes, it could be five years, but waiting on the Lord is something mm -hmm. that as we grow, we learn to rest in that and enjoy that waiting period. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Tell your friends to come and check us out. We're here mm -hmm. every day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Christian, I'll be praying for you. We love you. See you.